Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the brake caliper anti-rattle spring, green arrow, by prying it out while securing it with the hand. The spring can pop off and go flying. Be sure to hold it steady. Next, using a flathead screwdriver, slowly press the brake caliper piston in. This allows the brake caliper to be pulled off the brake rotor easily. You will be forcing brake fluid back up into the reservoir, so make sure to check the level and make sure it doesn't overflow. Working behind the caliper, remove the two 18mm rear rotor is 16mm brake caliper mounting bracket bolts, as indicated by the green arrows. Remove the brake caliper bracket from the wheel carrier and hang it using a piece of metal coat hanger. Do not allow the caliper to hang from the brake hose. Next, use a 6mm Allen bit and remove the brake rotor mounting fastener. Then remove the rotor from the hub. If you live in a four-season climate, it's best to break this fastener loose while you still have the brake caliper on and someone can put their foot on the brake to save the rotor from spinning. Clean the wheel hub using a wire brush. Remove all corrosion and rust from the hub before installing your new rotor. Install the new brake rotor and tighten the mounting fasteners. Then reinstall the brake caliper and tighten the bracket mounting bolts. Once the calipers are installed and the fasteners are tight, press the brake pedal to pump the brake pressure up. Once the brake pedal is firm to push, install the wheels and check for brake operation. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.